Hello, thank you for coming. My name is Miha Jagar. I'm a developer by profession. I work for a company named Materi. Um, I'm from Slovenia. Do you know where Slovenia is? Are there any US people here? <laughs> if you don't know where Slovenia is, just go south of Austria. We have really nice mountains and we have a ski jumping uh, champion now. Okay? Um, so, at Materi, we're building a task system that is based on Neo4j. Um, so in this presentation, I'll show you only, I don't know, the basics of the system, because we have a lightning talk. Um, I am then, I'm also available for questions. So, let's start. Firstly, uh, I'll show you a video from Ants. Um, at Mativi, we try to tackle only large and complicated tasks. So, we'll learn from the animal kingdom. This is an ABC Science, um, this is an article from ABC Science Online, this is a video. Um, some ants are moving breakfast cereal to the nest, okay? So, no individual ant is strong enough to move the breakfast cereal by itself, but they need to be working together. But there's a twist. Ants aren't moving the cereal towards the nest, okay? So they need a scout to show them the way. They need, they need to always be communicating and synchronizing. Um, please read the article, it's really great. I have the reference on the last page, okay? Um, so, how did the ants do it? What's the trick? Um, so these ants had the task to bring the breakfast cereal home. So each one of those ants had a subtask assigned to it. Some were pushing, the other were pulling, others were scouting. So it's the recipe. The recipe is first split the task, then delegate the task. But as I said, the ants weren't moving in the right direction. They need a scout to show them the way. And if you draw the parallel to the human world, every project needs to be split into a smaller tasks. We want to assign specific tasks to specific users, but the only thing that we can be sure of is that we'll have to make adjustments. Just like the ants, we need to communicate and be synchronized. So, we are creating a tool, that's the main focus of it, we are creating a tool that will enable us to focus more on the time so that things don't go according to plan. Focus more on communication. The big problem is when we only split the project and delegate the task, we only get personal task lists. The personal task is always changed through time. We need to communicate what is wrong. So, why did we choose Neo4j for this? I will show you that Neo4j is really good fit for our requirements. We can model split and delegate actions in a natural way, and we can move through the tasks easily and effectively. Um, that means fast. This project was implemented, I think it was five years ago, on a relational database. The, I don't know what was the load of, uh, of the users that, that could, that the database could support, but it wasn't really good. So we found another way and that was Neo4j. Okay, now we'll go to the demo, what our application does. It, it, it's, it's a really simple demo, so the, the, the complicated tasks are, are bigger, so but okay. So what we're trying to do. What is, an idea, what is the idea? We'll go to the full life cycle of the task. Um, every task in our system has three mandatory task elements, three Ws, what is to be done, who is doing it, and when is the due date of the task. So in this example, uh, we have a John, he needs to ship an order and notify the customer and he needs to do it by Monday. Um, this is an action of create task, remember this. So, let's follow the recipe from before. First, the John splits the task into two tasks. So, into a shipping task and notifying task. Because this is a big task, let's say. Um, so, he delegates the first 
the shipping, the first part to Sarah. Um, the notifying part will be completed by Johnny himself. But note something, in our system, Sarah has not yet agreed to do the task. So he was just asking her, can you do this for me? Um, we call this the next step, we, call, we uh, will see, we call this the Sarah has not yet committed to the task. She needs to commit to the task so she, she confirms that she'll do it. Okay, but Sarah is off on Monday. And she asked John, can I do it by Tuesday? So, she is able to notify John within the system to ask him to change the due date. Um, because, as we said, things don't always go according to plan. Our system is centered on this, what comes now, we call this synchronization cycle. Because they, they, um, the users have now disagreed on a due date. They can disagree on lots of things. Maybe they need some info. Maybe even Sarah is the wrong person to do the job. These are all possible synchronization cycles um, we do in our system. So this is a synchronization cycle. So John is okay with the new date. And so Sarah gets a date. Oh yeah, we copied the task from John to Sarah. Because even if the John is not doing the legwork, he's still responsible for the task. So even when Sarah completes the task, he needs to check it out because it's re his responsibility. He was assigned to do it. Okay, no problem. He can assign, he can assign to someone else, but he's still responsible. Oh yeah, um, John could say no. John could say this can't be done by Tuesday. So he can delegate it to somebody else. He can do it himself. We have that options in the program. So let's fast forward to, to Tuesday. Sarah has done the task and now we enter another synchronization cycle. When Sarah has done the task, um, system notifies John that the task is complete. So he needs, to, he needs to confirm completion of the task. The other options are he could always reject the completion and we enter another synchronization cycle. He could, I don't know, again, assign it to, some, to someone else. But he's happy with Sarah's job and confirms it and resolves the, the, the synchronization cycle. Um, so yeah, he, he does his job, he notifies the customer. And now, because the, all the split tasks are completed, the original is completed itself. Okay, um, so now we come to the point when we ask ourselves, why is Neo4j good for this? So let's see. We came from a whiteboard diagram that was that was this was on the whiteboard to the to the true. This is a this is a, a picture from the database from the Neo4j. Um, some some um, um, connections are removed, but this is how it looks. How this task looks in the database. The we, we added some relevant nodes, so we isolated the, the persons into, into each own nodes, and we have a, a root element just for carrying purposes. Um, something like this in the relational database is a problem. But here, um, I, I, I could show you the, 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 the model from the, the model from the um, for the relational database, but I don't have it here. So, that is it. So, but we go a step further. We have full access to history. Whatever everyone has done through the life cycle of the task, we can check it out. So we save all actions of user, whatever that action was, change date, change description, all delegations, all splittings. So why? We want to help them to decide on future actions. We want to make them to, to make better decisions with the data that we collected. So let's say what we measure. We measure how the user com how fast the user commits to the task, um, is the task completed on time, and so on. And of course, 
there's also a step further for them. Um, we have implemented automatic notifications. So, uh, like for example, the system checks if a process is stuck due to user's inability to synchronize. Um, if we go back to the Sarah's and uh, John synchronization cycle, they were talking about date. There, there could be a problem. Maybe there would be ping pointing, and they, they couldn't um, they couldn't reach an agreement. So someone up the maybe their manager, someone someone up the up the tree would be notified of this automatically. So how this looks in a database? Um, all the every user action generates a node. The right nodes on the on the right, on the left view that contains all the relevant data that is needed to, to, to reconstruct the task history. Example, if we, if we change the date, we save both the previous and the current date. The same is also true for description. So the system enables us to read full history of every task node. So in conclusion, it's possible to reconstruct the whole task life cycle efficiently. This is an event sourcing, if somebody knows of it, in implementation, in, in implementation of event sourcing. Okay. This was all. This is the database. This is a concept. This is now a true application. We have developed. This is the application that runs on this. It's a forget me not app, just only for iPhone. It's an example of two person task focused on the synchronization cycle. And the application does only this. You contact the other person to negotiate for the best time to call them. So, this is the, the how application will look in practice. Oh, it's it's not on the on the app store yet. Uh, it will be, but okay. Um, so, first screen, you would like to arrange a call with the customer and send her two possible dates for the call, and we can check our calendar. So, on the second screen, we add the message, and then what is not shown, she can accept or propose a new date. So it's like a synchronization cycle from John and Sarah. And when agreement is reached, both get a notification 15 minutes prior to the call. So this concludes our meeting. So if you remember the ends, in the article it said it's 15 ends is the sweet spot to move the breakfast cereal. Um, you need also to, so you need to split the task you also need to delegate efficiently and always be constantly in synchronization. Um, and Neo4j is perfect for modeling this. Um, that is it. Thank you. <laughs> Questions? Is there a link for uh, the links? The links? Yeah. Okay. This was not automatically underlined, I think I probably missed the page there. I don't know. I have a question. Yeah. Um, in the case when, uh, when uh, Sarah, <laughs> in the case when Sarah uh, declines or she she notifies John that she can uh, not complete the task, perhaps uh, she has a holiday or something. Yeah. Uh, for the whole week. Um, what's the um, the process of selection of the next uh, uh, available person that can do that, is there a recommendation engine behind yeah. it or the, he has to search like in a serialized way to, to, to no, find No, it, 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 it's the, it's the uh, John's, John's responsibility to find the next person. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John's. Okay. Yeah, you can have a statistics that said, please don't, don't, do, don't delegate it to this person, he's always late or something like that. That, that, that is possible, yeah. But in the in the in the in the real world, I think what I was working as a developer, you always know who is the second person to and the third person who needs to who needs to get something done because these are not trivial. This is not trivial stuff. Maybe this is trivial mm -hmm. for some shipping, but in I don't know in programming mm -hmm. world, it's not. So so for a small organization, it's it's, it's natural to, to to know who's the next responsible. Yeah, but do you, do, do you think that for a large corporation? Uh, it makes sense to implement like a recommendation. Uh, yeah, it should be. Yeah, yeah, it should be for a large. Okay. It should be. Yeah, yeah.
that's probably something for the future. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. How do you, <coughs> excuse me, how do you track time in your graph? Is it just like a, a node property or do yeah, you no, have no, discrete time every, steps? Every, and every node has a time span. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and uh, all of this, uh, the, the events also have a, a time stamp, so you can reconstruct the whole timeline. Okay. And if, if something changed, you create a new node so you can yeah, like always, like always, every user actions, every, okay. you can have thousands of users, uh, every user action, every change description, every change day, everything. Oh. It's a log, yeah, it's a log. It's a log that's really connected to all the tasks that needs to be connected. So, if you go, if you go, let's say, on the dispatch, it's, it's connected to all the, to, to all the uh, events that it went through. Uh, you can get it really fast. As in N4J has a uh, um, fast uh, working with relationship, but dates are more like uh, uh, MySQL or just a table. Uh, yeah. Do you run also a SQL database for uh, managing dates or uh, is implemented in N4J? This, only this everything. Is, everything is, is implemented here. Oh, okay. It's like a Ma cluster of nodes uh, that yeah, are yeah. an engine. Yeah. But here, the, 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 the times are currently written directly on the, on the, on the nodes. Okay. Uh, we could have, you know, I think it's a concept in Neo4j, it's a time tree. Okay. Because you could have a year, and then it goes on months, it goes yeah. on days. Yeah. Maybe that's for the future. I don't, but yes. currently not. I was thinking that. Yeah, that yeah time now. tree, yeah, yeah. We were, all, we, were, we were thinking about it, but for now. It's a, it's a property uh, now. Uh, yeah, it's a property the, now, yeah. Okay. Regarding the event sourcing uh, yeah. model that you use, is it a one-to-one -one relation from a task to, to a create uh, node, or are you using like uh, uh, just like um, I mean, how how is it implemented? It, it, it's, uh, it's 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 uh, create is it's only because create is only um, create only concerns one task. But let's say delegate concerns two tasks from and to. From task it was delegated to and to whom it was delegated. Split concerns three tasks for three of these. So a whole three tasks are, are connected, are connected to, one. to the yeah. Okay. So you can find it really fast. Um, so one question: um, When when the this process or this task is running, the, are you like creating creating the graph on the fly, or you have already like an empty graph, no, and you are just filling it? This is all created on the fly. So you you can have like at the end of the that synchronization between calls, for example, like different graph results depending on what the people are have yeah, decided. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Different, okay. yeah, of course. Okay. So you are not closing like the. Oh, the options, you, you, these are like kind yeah, of. This is this is this is, uh, this is live. I had I had a, I don't know a big graph, but I didn't show it here. You could have I don't know ten levels or twenty or this is always live. When okay. you do synchronization cycles, um, the synchronization cycles are not shown here. That's a, a graph in its own, but but yeah, this is live, always live. Let's say if John wasn't happy with Sarah, he could cancel her task. And you could delegate it, I don't know, to credit, no problem. And then this would cancel, and a new delegation, a new node will be created. Thank you. Okay, sure. Okay, thank you.